Now we're going to be talking about the runt pig principle. If it sounds familiar, it is. We have uh, talked about this book at least once before, but there's going to be a book signing we thought you might want to know about. The author is Clifford Cooper, and he joins us now on the anchor set. Uh, thanks for coming to talk to us. First of all, remind the folks what the runt pig principle is. The book is, is billed as a fundamental approach to solving problems and creating value. What does that mean? Well, it, uh, it's a series of stories, uh, 30 stories, short stories with principles after each story. And it gets down to basics, basics, self-reliance, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, and discovering yourself. Uh, actually, I discovered uh, this process when I was raised in the Dust Bowl in Texas during the Depression. And there was no money and no jobs. And I traded my labor for runt pigs, which are considered useless. The sour that kills them off or the owner destroys them. And then I picked up uh, the grain from the grain elevator by sweep, sweeping it out every night on the floor and took the slop from the, the little restaurant in town, mixed them together, went down and fed my pigs every night, and I developed cash flow. And so I discovered the process that if you take things that are available to you, put them together, build relationships, then you can be successful in this world. And speaking of success, we should say that you hardly live in the Dust Bowl anymore. You're on Balboa Island now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, is this, are all the stories in this book taken from personal experience, or did you use other sources? No, it's all my personal experiences from the age of 14 to 40. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had built uh, the Texas uh, Big T Pump Company that helped uh, eliminate the Dust Bowl and Texas but when I was very young. And then I built a company called the Cooper Development Corporation that helped launch America's first satellite with Von Braun and Van Allen and JPL. So certainly a, su a success story right there. This book uh, has been published in China. Yes, it has. How did that come about? Well, it's very interesting. Uh, I, one can hardly believe that story, but it's like other stories in my life. How did I launch America's first satellite with the educational background? Uh, I was in China about four years ago before the great purge, of, uh, and I met a young lady who was the interpreter for the chairman of the party. She's now the interpreter in the United Nations. She became fascinated with the idea of this book we were talking about. Her husband is a writer. And so she came to see us in Hawaii, where I live, and visited with us. And she uh, translated the book. And she and her husband took it back and made a deal with the largest publisher in China to publish the book. There you go. How many copies has it sold there so far? Well, they, they uh, assume they printed 100,000 at this time. They're considering printing one in English and Chinese. But uh, nevertheless, it's on the road, and as you know, China is becoming an entrepreneurial country themselves, trying mm -hmm. to develop market type taking economy. Some, taking some tips from the capitalists. And, and they like that. Okay. Yes. This book, uh, you're going to be signing this particular version, the English version, uh, at Fahrenheit 451 on Sunday. Yes. When will you be there? I'll be there from 3 till 5 o'clock. Okay, at Fahrenheit 451 in Laguna Beach. Yes, right. All right, Clifford Cooper, thank you very much for coming to talk to us. Thank you for giving me the time. You I bet. enjoyed it very much.